Hey everyone, today I have an updated version of my variable item sorter. So this is something I made a few months ago. This is the previous version. This is what kickstarted the whole uh, storage tech series. So basically the idea behind this is to have a sorter that can change its own item types. So here we have a bunch of sorters, but they don't have any items inside them. And what happens is that when I place in some items, then they fill up the first slot and then sort any other items of that type. Then they place it into a shulker box. Now, why did I make a new one? Well, there's two reasons. First is to uh, make it a bit more compact. And second is to fix a bug that this previous one had. Yeah, I know I published something with a bug. Terrible, right? So um, the problem was that if you put in exactly one shulker box and one item, then uh, you'd get basically um, that one item would get stuck in the next shulker box. Now, the way this works is um, the problem is due to not having directly a comparator reading from the shulker box. So here we're a bit tight of space. Well, we have a piston to break the shulker box, a dispenser to dispense a new one, a water stream at the bottom to collect the box, and a hopper to fill it up. Now, I did what most people do for shulker box holders, which is reading a full box from the loading hopper. So basically, if this hopper has items inside, then that means the box is full. But the problem with that is it's possible that the box is full, but exactly full, which means there's no items in the hopper. Now, obviously the chance for that happening is super low. It's one in 1700, so less than 1%, uh, less than 0.1%, but it's still possible. And what happens then is that the item that's basically the sorting items over here, is gonna get sucked in, is gonna go in the hopper and not have anywhere to go to. So it's gonna stay there. Then this shulker box is gonna get destroyed. A new one's gonna get dispensed and then the item's gonna go in the new shulker box. Now that's terrible because then that means you have two item types in the same shulker box. So terrible things happen in that case, uh, especially for the later parts in the storage systems. So I, this had to be fixed. And the way I fixed it is by using something similar to methods um, shulker box display. So essentially here we have sand from which the comparator can read the shulker box uh, signal. And what I would do when I want to break the shulker box, actually, let's just show it. So. Okay, so if I tick warp it just to go super fast, then uh, right now there's nothing. Um, the Basically all the items got sorted in this one. Then um, the item is gonna time out really soon and then you're gonna see it. Yeah, basically the shulker box gets, this, it gets broken by the piston and then it goes into the output shulker box. And then this hopper here had its item sucked up. So now it's ready for a new item type. Um, now, the part over here is a bit less compact than the previous one because, um, well, essentially you have to make a comparator subtraction, which requires redstone blocks. It's kind of bulky, but other than that, um, this is the second change that I made to the um, sorting system. The timing mechanism over here is way more compact. So this was suggested by Stypox on the um, Psycraft Discord. There'll be a link to his channel in the description. Um, basically, the idea over here is that in the previous one I used to, uh, I need a timer for the sorters, and in the previous one I used signal strength timers. So basically they're just a signal strength memory cell and I decrease it by one every now and then. Now the problem with signal strength memory cells is they're not one white tileable, which made this really large. So instead here what I do is I use a dispenser counter. So whenever, actually let's look at it. So whenever I... Uh, input a new item in a sorter, then this uh, observer fires over here, which pushes all the items in this dropper inside this one over here. And then um, maybe if we tick warp it, okay, then when you stop getting items, then this one can finally have a chance to push its items in the other one. And when it finally becomes empty, then that's when we break the shulker box. All right, um, so I guess that's, oh yeah, there's one last thing. Okay, one last change. Uh, so last change is the um, item distribution system here. So I use two slime blocks over here and that's to perfectly time the item. So because droppers have a slight random factor in them, uh, it's possible that two items uh, would go on the water stream with less than uh, seven game ticks in between them. And if that happens, then one uh, the hopper over here might miss one of the items and then it just goes all the way to the other side um, actually, no, it doesn't wait. Uh, what happens is it goes into the second uh, the second sorter over here. 
And that's really bad because then you occupy two sorters for just one item type. So to prevent that from happening, we have to perfectly align it using uh, these two slime blocks. All right, now that's really uh, it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.